Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Jerzy Krenzel and I have a pleasure to present uh, Solaris Optics as your potential, uh, potential uh, partner uh, in manufacturing as well as in optical design. We as a manufacturing company do not have uh, any specific product to present, therefore I will present our techno te technological capabilities and actually uh, technological stuff that we do. So the plan of the presentation is the following. Uh, first, a few words uh, about, uh, in general words about Solaris and uh, what we do, what our capabilities and uh, technical, let's say, uh, instrumentation is. Then I will say some few words about R&D group, and then I will present some unusual uh, optical, uh, let's say, uh, elements or systems that we do, uh, unusual for us in terms of uh, in terms of production. So general information about Solaris. Solaris was founded like 30 years ago and uh, we do everything in house. So starting from buying of the, of, of, of the material blanks or blocks, we do everything in house, starting from optical design, optical modeling, uh, opti fabrication, uh, characterization and assembly uh, of the product. So everything is done in house, which is a huge advantage actually uh, when in the case when the design is in the same building as the fabrication of the technologists which ensures that our design are technolo technologically feasible so the production profile of solaris is uh, let's say mass production uh, and for us it is around 10000 elements per month as well as uh, small volume uh, production um, cases where we deal with uh, usually uh, technologically challenging optics and every of this of this of this case is um, a custom i mean it is not like on the shelf product it is really really customized uh, in every case whether it is large scale production or small scale production so basically our production profile is um, focused on passive optical elements which is the lenses uh, mirrors um, um, mirror, uh, mirror substrate, optical wedges, optical windows, filters. Um, so uh, also, also some small assemblies like achromatic sets as well as more complicated assemblies. So, um, and these are the passive optical elements. The active optical elements that we do, it is not the majority of our production, but still we do pockel cells and Q switches. So uh, when we deal, when we speak about the applications of our products, so in general, it is imaging optics as well as beamforming optics, which can be extended to uh, machine vision, high power laser optics, uh, metrology and optical characterization. I mean, optics for, for optical characterization devices, space and defense and medical applications. So our customers come from these uh, areas uh, usually and manufacturing and characterization. So our capabilities uh, allow us to uh, fabricate optical elements with uh, this uh, 2010 surface finish. So um, we, since we have um, classical uh, pitch polishing as well as the MRF technology, we are able to go uh, down with uh, surface flatness uh, up to, down to lambda over uh, 40, which in our case is a uh, metrology limit actually and uh, surface irregularities can be um, achieved at Solaris in the order of lambda over 20. So angular accuracies is like uh, five uh, arc seconds as uh, parale parallelism is one arc second more or less. The surface roughness that you can achieve starts from 0.35 nanometers and um, we have uh, limitations that we uh, fabricate optics starting from four millimeters up to 300 millimeters. And apart from usual cases like planar and spherical optics, we do also mild aspheres by aspherization of spherical surfaces. And this is the limit of our uh, like uh, 15 micrometers of material removal. Apart from grass processing uh, sites, we have also a thin film coating department which uses physical vapor deposition. And we operate in this spectral range starting from 290 nanometers up to uh, five micrometers. And we do also everything in house, uh, which means that we design the optical coatings, we fabricate them as well as characterize them uh, spectrally, of course. Um, everything is done in house. We have um, 
I mean, the measurement capabilities of Solaris is pretty well, uh, I mean, that our measurement size is pretty, site is pretty well equipped. Uh, we have uh, goniometers, autocollimators, we have two zygo interferometers with horizontal and vertical propagation path. It, it really is important and I will just say a few words on this uh, later on. We have uh, the instrumentation to characterize optical assemblies, uh, characterization of uh, surface micro roughness, surface wave fronts, so uh, surface forms. So basically ev everything is characterized uh, at Solaris. Uh, so uh, apart from the technological side with the measurement fabrication, as well as film coating, we have our R&D group. And as I said at the very beginning, the group uh, always cooperates with um, technologies. Therefore, our optical designs are pretty matured and always technologically feasible. We use ZMAX in geometrical wave regime modeling. Uh, we use Inventor and Nastran to model and also design uh, mechanical, uh, let's say, elements for, for our optical elements as well as assemblies. We do technological studies, uh, we do uh, feasibility studies, we can also advise our clients and just uh, propose some modifications of, uh, of their de de designs in order to make them technologically feasible. So this was uh, like a general uh, picture of Solaris, uh, but now I will, I will say a few words about uh, more sophisticated optics that we do. So examples of uh, unusual cases, at least for us, is uh, like optics with a hole inside, optics with hole as well as uh, some coatings, absor absorption coatings. We do also prisms which are polished from every side, actually. Uh, we do uh, some uh, spherical optics, but it is like a strip optics assembly. It is a, a freelance achromat, actually. We fabricate lenses with special shapes, which are uh, often required by customers for their, their um, precise assembly, let's say, uh, procedures. As well as we can fabricate really uh, not only rotary symmetric shape, this is an example of Zerodur block, which was also fabricated at Solaris. Some real case example, I mean, uh, a specific case, uh, example case was um, was a cylindrical mirror with really right, large radius for um, auxiliary telescope of uh, very large telescope of ISO. So what they required from us is was the uh, zero door mirror actually having this uh, kind of uh, this, this diameter actually, and uh, this surface for error, error. What we achieved was a surface for error, error which is. Uh, three times more uh, precise or accurate than was uh, that was required and the procedure behind was behind this was pretty complex as we um, fabricated at first uh, zero door block then we put some stress to it uh, in order to make it bend then we did some pitch polishing then the zero door block was released so the spherical uh, the cylindrical shape was actually achieved and then it was uh, uh, it was, I mean, the MRF uh, use, was used for corrective uh, polishing and that pretty complex procedure, I mean, it, it was really complex, allowed us to deliver the mirror as uh, I saw at the very beginning, meeting the requirements with really, really large margin and it was installed in auxiliary telescope uh, of uh, European uh, Southern Observatory. Then another case of um, not everyday optics, let's say, was a uh, bulky meniscus for uh, saffron. I, I was, I am not allowed to, uh, let's say, to, to show the, the exact dimensions, but it was 300 millimeter uh, meniscus lens. And what was challenging for us was actually uh, the fabrication uh, the meeting that these requirements that are shown here, we used RMF uh, MRF to, to fabricate this, this lens, but also not only the fabrication and the achievement of precision was uh, pretty challenging, but also the measurement since uh, with this kind of uh, huge elements, the gravity uh, caused the elements to bend. So what we did, we measured the element uh, in the, well, let's say, working conditions with the pro uh, uh, horizontal propagation path uh, of, uh, with our measurement interferometer, it was measured uh, in the conditions that the lens was actually supposed to use by our clients, so it was measured in their housing, and the measurement results 
were imprinted with AMREF. I mean, the negative of the measurement results were imp was were imprinted uh, imprinted with AMREF, allowing us to finally achieve the lens uh, really meeting the requirements. And when put in a specific working conditions, it didn't have um, the, let's say the gravity error thanks to this uh, negative imprintment. Another case of uh, not everyday optics is uh, participation in OptiSSE project founded by uh, European Commission with the Satlantis as, uh, as, as, as prime and us as optical manufacturer, where we need to deliver a demonstrator of precise optic manufacturing, which is actually the lens with a hole. So previously, we uh, already fabricated uh, uh, glass elements with holes, but this time um, it, the, the precision requires required and forces us to use AMRF and AMRF have pneumatic mount, which means that we cannot fabricate the lens with a hole. So we are actually uh, solving some engineering, uh, let's say challenges to, uh, to, to, you, to fabricate a lens with a hole with a precision granted by MRF corrective polishing. And this project is actually ongoing. It is, it is going to be used finally as a demonstrator of, of uh, payload uh, for uh, Earth Observation Telescope. And uh, apart from this, we are actually having Earth Observation Telescope of our own, which we are uh, the leader of, of, of the project. We have investigated several designs, uh, refractive and diffractive objective, as well as catadioptric one. And finally, we ended up with, uh, aspheric, with um, refractive and diffractive uh, objective with aspherical surfaces, as well as dif diffraction optics. The project is realized with uh, Polish Space Research Centers, as well as uh, Institute of Tech, uh, Electronic Material Technology of po in Poland. And what is challenging in this project, uh, which is unusual, is since it has four aspherical surfaces, some of the aspheres, uh, aspherization requires pretty huge material removal, at least in our case, which is nine uh, micrometers. And when you deal with, um, uh, with AMRF in rotary, in rotary mode, um, usually uh, a central artifact is something that appears, it's like kind of singularity in the middle of the lens. And we managed to push uh, the fabrication to the uh, AMRF limit. We achieved the central artifact in the order of 50 nanometers when the amount of material remover wo removal was nine micrometers, which is uh, actually a very, very good result. So it is an example of, of the precision that we do. Then an example so uh, of a gradient, a special a spectral gradient filter that we did for Sentinel-5 mission. And again, I am not allowed to uh, reveal the customer. And uh, it, it was operational, it is operational in, in this wavelength range. And by, by this example, what we want to show is that we can actually handle or at least approach uh, for design and fabrication of any filter, um, either in spectral or in special domain. And then uh, the last case of, of, of what we do, which is not uh, everyday case, is either a complex cementing of uh, optical system. It is a picture of real device that was fabricated for Institute of Plasma Physics in Poland. So it is uh, a beam divider and recombiner at the, at the same time. And apart from this complex cementing, we do uh, optical contacting uh, in which we are pretty experience since in one in, from one side we do it for technological purposes and this is a set of a picture of set of prisms uh, optically contacted to a glass uh, holder for the further fabrication and this is a picture of uh, optical uh, co optically contacted uh, beam splitter and uh, what we are going to do next with the optical contacting as well as complex cementing is that we are actually in the start of realizing of, 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 the, of the grant of femtosecond pulses welding. So basically some, some, I, I just gave some um, examples of uh, complex, at least for Solaris uh, optical fabrication, just trying to encourage you to treat us as a potential partner in both either light large scale production or sophisticated or un un unusual cases of optical fabrication. And um, yeah, the presentation was pretty brief uh, and we are happy to answer some questions. Uh, so please visit us at uh, our booth and the link is uh, given here actually. So I, am, I thank you for attention and uh, yeah, we are waiting for you at our booth. Thank you.